I'm going to show you uh, how to burn NFTs on Solana using this free tool we made and then just a little bit more about what that actually means to burn an NFT, what actually happens. So uh, I'll talk about actually the second part first, which is what actually happens. So um, when you burn an NFT first, um, like just at a high level, uh, you're more, you're, you're basically deleting it, right? And then uh, at one step lower, a, one, uh, an explanation one step lower is that you're reducing the supply to zero. So an NFT has a supply of one, and then literally all the, the burn does is reduces that to zero. Okay, and then a little bit lower is uh, there, an NFT has is actually on Solana has several different components. Okay, so on Solana, many, pretty much everything's account based. And so um, uh, there are, you know, more or less four different accounts that com make up a single NFT that, that you know, comprise it. And um, one of those actually just stores the supply. So you reduce that to zero. A couple of the other ones actually store the metadata, like the name of the NFT, right? That is not deleted when you burn it. So the name and that sort of thing remains, but the supply is reduced to zero, okay? And then there, now, now people have an incentive to burn NFTs, uh, not for just some sort of, you know, revenge, uh, but also, um, uh, but, but, you know, like revenge, like if the project rugged or something, right. But also because they can recover some small amount of soul. Okay. And it's a very small amount. It's 0 0.002, uh, which, you know, with, uh, with today's price of, uh, you know, $30 is, uh, like six cents, right? I think so 30 cents, three cents. Yeah. So, um, Okay, so anyways, if you go down here, um, yeah, so how, where does that point zero zero two come from? So let me just explain. Now, that the, the lowest level of the explanation of what happens when you burn the NFT is that there are two instructions submitted in a transaction. First is the burn that reduces the supply to zero. The second is uh, more or less you have a bucket that holds the NFT, and the second one deletes that bucket. Okay, and that bucket uh, is what sort of stores it uh, for you, and uh, you pay uh, you pay to, for that storage, right? And so, um, because you're paying for that storage, there's soul contained in that bucket, and um, yeah, right? Okay, and, and then you can retrieve it, right, by deleting that bucket. Now, two things. One is when somebody sends you an NFT, they have to put soul in there. So they don't take from your soul, right? They uh, put their own soul. So if you receive a spam NFT, um, then uh, yeah, then, then it makes sense to go ahead and just burn it because one, it clutters your wallet and two, you can just get some free soul, okay? Albeit a small amount, okay? And then uh, now let me go down. So this is a blog, I'll, I'll put this link in the description. Uh, yeah, and then the uh, the second thing is that I get a question, which is, you know, it costs about 0 0.01 soul, right? So right now, about 30 cents to mint an NFT. How come I only get 0 0.002, 6 cents, okay? So um, I'll explain that. Okay, really quick, I'll just show you this. See, the supply goes down. This is on the Explorer from 1 to 0 after burning it. But the metadata is still there, okay? And I highly recommend this other article um, here, which uh, I'll link in the description. That will be useful for understanding some stuff. Okay, so why do I only get 0.002 soul? So if you can see here, this is the account balance changes on a minting transaction. Um, and you'll see, see this person was who was a person who minted the NFT, AEZ, right? And they spent 0.01 soul to mint it, okay? And then each of these accounts received soul. Okay, so what are each of these accounts? Uh, if you go through each one, the first one is this mint account. Okay, this is like a literal another account um, that is uh, <coughs> that that you that you create. It also has a seed phrase. Okay, so that's important because there are a couple different kinds of accounts. One has a seed phrase. The other one does not. Right, it's mathematically guaranteed it does not have a seed phrase, to put it simply. 
And the purpose of those that second type, which I'll call a PDA, the, that second type is controlled by smart contracts. Okay, so this is getting a little deep. But basically, um, this second one means that when you create the NFT, you actually have complete control over it. So theoretically, you could redeem this 0 .001 in addition to the 0 .002. But, um, but pretty much everyone just throws away that seed phrase when they create the NFT uh, and forgets about it. Um, and because of that, this is almost always unretrievable. Okay, so the first, this second account, just basically more in 99.999% of cases, that's gone forever. That 0 .001 is unretrievable permanently. Okay, and then the uh, third account here, 21's S, uh, 0 .005, and then this, uh, the fifth account, CZB, the third and fifth, these are PDAs. These are controlled by the token metadata program, okay? Now, long story short, okay, so, so let me just explain two things. So one is, how come the burn doesn't take this, right? Because that would be 0 .007, right? How come it doesn't get that soul from those two, three and five? Well, basically, long story short, to make keep this video simple and short, three and five are controlled by the token metadata smart contract, which is one smart contract, and then the burn instruction is handled by a different smart contract called the token program smart contract. Sounds similar, but they're different. And because three and five are PDAs, they can only, only, exclusively be controlled by the token metadata program, um, okay? And not by the token program, which is the one that's calling the function. So basically three and five are, they cannot be t t touched by the, um, the burn instruction. So then the question becomes, well, why doesn't Metaplex, uh, long story short, it, it could, the other smart contract could add a burn instruction and you could be able to receive the .007, but to my knowledge, they haven't. And so because they haven't, you have no control over it, only they do. And by they, I mean Metaplex, who's created this smart contract, okay? So this might get confusing, but basically three and five stored separately, different smart contract, okay? And they do not have a function for you to burn those accounts and get that soul back, okay? And because they don't, to my knowledge, um, I'm pretty sure they don't. So because they don't, that's also unretrievable. So now you're left with number four. And number four is this bucket, and you'll see that it receives 0 .002 soul. Number four is simply the bucket I mentioned, an associated token account is another name for it. And that holds the NFT, okay? So when you send someone an NFT, typically it deletes that associated token account the wallet does that automatically and it creates one in that person's account. Um, so yeah, um, that's also what makes airdrops somewhat expensive, right? Because for every person that you're sending, say a token, uh, you have to spend 0 .002 for the bucket, that can add up. But anyways, um, that's what you're recovering. Okay, is that 0 .002. The rest is more or less unretrievable and uh, maybe in the future. So this is a good article too if you want to read it. Okay, so now the tool. The tool is designed to um, make it super simple to delete NFTs but also delete them in mass. So let's say you just go to, um, there's mainnet and beta and devnet, right? In devnet, there's a chance that you, uh, you know, have been playing around minting a lot of NFTs if you're developing and uh, there's a way to just simply select all of them here and delete and burn all of them with a single click. Um, and so I'm not gonna do that, but first I'll just show you, I'll burn one, because I'm on DevNet. So the first thing is if you click it, you can view it on the Explorer, okay? And I just wanna verify, yep, this is DevNet, okay? 4900, great. So I just wanna make sure that I'm actually burning this on DevNet. And let's do this one. This is 7124. Okay, and I'll select these, and this way we'll burn two. Okay, and it should say plus point plus point zero zero four oh. So plus point zero zero two, and then the second one is also plus point zero zero two, because it's submitting two transactions at once, uh, one for each NFT. Okay, so then you click approve, and it burns them. See, and remove them from here. So then if we go back over here, right, notice that this is the NFT, it has a supply of one, right? 
I refresh this page, and now it has a supply of zero. Okay, and uh, the metadata is still there. Same here, refresh, zero, zero. All right, the only thing, other thing is that I wanna mention is that when you wanna switch to DevNet, you also have to switch in your wallet. So I don't have 1200 sold. This is on DevNet, this is fake, right? You have to go here, DevNet, Mainnet, right? So you have to switch it or same thing in Phantom. Okay, so that's the only way that you can burn NFTs on there, okay? On DevNet or Mainnet, okay? All right, well, thank you, and um, yeah, have a good day.